أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أرسلنا عليهم حاسبا إلا على لوط نجينا بسحر نعمة من عندنا كذلك نجزي من شكر ولقد أنزرهم بطشتنا فتمار بن وزر صدق الله العلي العظيم Lecture number 22, ninth class, and I will talk about the recycling in the nature. No new thing is being formed. Each thing is formed from previous thing. If you, we are going to discuss the uh, oxygen gas which is going into our body, oxygen gas which is going into our body, that oxygen which is the part of our respiration it is goes from outside to inside and that oxygen is not being consumed in the universe why oxygen is not being consumed in the universe reason is that because photosynthesis is also there photosynthesis will produce oxygen that why oxygen will not finish in universe we we'll come back to photosynthesis in the photosynthesis what is happening in the photosynthesis a carbon dioxide gas is being used oxygen gas is being released so you will be thinking that carbon dioxide is using uh, carbon dioxide is used in photosynthesis why this gas is not being finished from the universe reason in the nature why carbon dioxide gas is not being finished because that is being used in the plants a lot of the plants are using carbon dioxide it will not finish reason because we are aspiring and we are releasing carbon dioxide so what does this happen recycling nature recycling each thing is being recycled one type of the gas is being changed into another type of the gas oxygen is being released in the photosynthesis that oxygen is being used look at the nature how the nature decide how the nature recycle the gases similarly carbon dioxide used in the in the photosynthesis oxygen released oxygen used in respiration carbon dioxide released this balancing nature is called as ecosystem this is called ecosystem ecosystem i will tell you ecosystem has two type of factors one is the biotic factor B I O T I C one is the biotic factor and one is the abiotic factor. Abiotic factor. Biotic factor is the living factor and abiotic factor is a non-living factor. One is a living factor, one is a non-living factor. And biotic factor, which is a living factor, it changes to non-living factor, which is a abiotic factor. Abiotic factor changes to biotic factor, mean non-living factor changes to biotic factor. This is the true definition of ecosystem. Details in the upcoming sessions, but I will tell you what is ecosystem balancing nature. Your balancing, your balancing nature, mean how the things are being balanced. I want, I give you one more example, so look here. Animals and the plants, this is an animal, of course, lion. Did you see the lions in the zoo? Uh, I, will, I will tell you there are, uh, I will tell you the place where the good lions, maybe the healthy lions are present in Islamabad and Rawalpindi. Okay, I tell you, in, you come to Barrier Town Garden City, Garden City, just at the back side of the golf club, you will find uh, six, seven lions, healthy lions, and you will be able to see them properly, just uh, three, four feet difference. And one another place, if you are in Islamabad, that is Barry Iron Cliff. So uh, I did not uh, see uh, such healthy lines early because I saw a line in the zoo of uh, uh, Margala Hills, uh, just uh, closer to Damneko if you had visited. That line, I think, is not present now. That was very old. Okay, you will go back. If this line dies, we fish do not die but i'm just joking because animals i am just telling because animal plants die death will take place death of the animals and the plants will take place what will happen they consist of protein they consist of a protein if they consist of a protein protein consists of nitrogen if you are attentive you will be able to understand the logic made by the creator in the nature this is a unique type of the logic if you will see the nitrogen which is produced by the by nitrogen which is present in this line in the form of the protein when it dies it changes into nitrate by the decomposition process by bacteria and fungi they will change the protein of the line into the nitrate oh my god now you are getting no nothing is coming from outside it is just a circle 
yes just you are going to kashmir and you are making uh, a trip in a vehicle and vehicle is circulating and after you it is moving up it is moving down after some time you will think we are in the same place yes i i i, I personally f felt a traveling when i was going to muzaffarabad and uh, muzaffarabad and ravla court and river jhelum was being crossed we were in a river jhelum almost uh, one hour because that was moving up down moving up down we were just crossing by the mountain so similarly nothing is coming from outside what is going on this nitrogen will be used by the plants in the form of the nitrates in the form of the nitrates so if the if the plants are using the nitrates the nitrates are not coming from outside it is coming from the living thing mean animals the animals will die animals waste product will consist of the nitrogen animal plants will die animals even plants will die even animal waste product consists of nitrogenous component and that nitrogen component will be changed into the nitrate so by the decomposition process by the bacteria and the fungi process is called the decomposition and such bacteria fungi is called saprophytic all definitions i have to do in the next therefore i am speaking little fast because you will study these things in a very slow speed in the coming chapters okay ji decomposition by the decomposition so what is the ecosystem it is a balance in the nature yes the balance in the nature biotic factor a biotic factor living factor the non living factor and what happens species mean animals the group of the animal which is called species these species will die if anybody if any animal and plant is telling that i will not die no he is wrong animals and the plants will die the death of the animals and the plants will take place and that will maintain the ecosystem when they will not die their nitrates will not be used when their nitrates will not be used their nitrates will not be used by the plants the plants will not be able to fruits the plants will not be able to form the vegetables and the recycling will not occur so what will happen these species become extinct this is the word extinct i just want to explain what is the extinct some animals like dinosaurs did you see dinosaurs in the current zoo any any zoo of the world consists of dinosaurs eh you you saw where in jurassic park no 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 not in the jurassic park in the jurassic park that dinosaurs was made by computer and that was not originally available just they used the skeleton bones of the old uh, fossils dead remains of the plants and animals is called fossils they used but actually dinosaurs is not available okay those species which are unable to survive mean that they are unable to continue their generation they become extinct lot of species are becoming extinct currently now did you see the dinosaurs nothing did you see some other animals which were present in the past and they are not still present i think all animals which were shown in the jurassic park the dinosaurs type species even tyrannosaurs which were even some dinosaurs tyrannosaurs were flying in the birds they were not present such species are extinct three species currently in pakistan are going to finish very soon because their numbers are very less over department the world uh, the animals department is trying to prevent those species if the, they were be able to we can prevent uh, these species to become extinct when animal finished from the world mean that there is not single individual present of that species that animal group that species is called extinct so what is the ecosystem biotic factor the abiotic factor the biotic factor changes to abiotic factor abiotic factor changes to biotic factor and that is the cycle that is the cycle going on living factor is called the biotic factor the non living factor is called the abiotic factor and species is called endangered what is the endangered what is the endangered endangered recycling i will tell you recycling i am uh, one giving you one example more and you will be astonished because i am using the starfish example and starfish is eating one animal if that a starfish will not eat that animal what will be the threat to the other species you will be uh, you will be think you will be threatening that how these other, other animals are being maintained in the sea water so that is a very good uh, uh, the use of the ecosystem by the nature endangered endangered i uh, just want to magnify this word when species become endangered when species numbers of the animals for example marco polo sheep i will tell you the i am just naming one in one animal the marco polo sheep there are less number of the marco polo sheep are available the less numbers are available they are less numbers and they are going to decrease 
they are going to decrease in the they are going to decrease in the uh, in the nature when they are going to decrease mean there is a little threat there is a scary nature that uh, th there is a little threat you yeah, endangered that might be these animals also finish and uh, pre preventive measurements the scientists have to do the worldwide department the wild department the animal department have to do some some substantial steps to prevent that species to become extinct such species in an endangered species mean that species is not extinct but that is just closer to the extinct that is just closer to the extinct so those species are called endangered species we go back to the discussion when at risk of extinction any any species any group of the animal which is at the risk of the extinction mean that they are closer to extinction or they are going to be extinct very soon such species are called such species are called endangered species endangered species okay ji so we are going to discuss uh, once again the species we are discussing and the, we are discussing endangered species we are discussing the ecosystem the biotic factor a biotic factor the last point of today's session i will tell you the starfish i named starfish is invertebrate and starfish is eating freshwater mussel i am speaking to living things which are invertebrates what are vertebrates what are invertebrates yes you will study later on but i had defined in the past sessions about these two type of the groups of the animal the animals which are the animals which are with the vertebral column those are called as the vertebrates and the animals without vertebral column those are called as invertebrates and you will see the starfish starfish scientific name is sea star and you was know the binomial nomenclature of the starfish arelia okay eat fresh water mussel now you are attentive because i am going to tell you a very important point of the recycling in nature mean ecosystem balance in the in the nature that sea star which is called starfish which has the five arms six arms and these are the arms you are watching the arms one arms and this starfish has a high power of regeneration regeneration mean if you will remove one limb one arm the new arm will be produced very early very early such power is called regeneration so regeneration power is present in the starfish regeneration power is present in the starfish this is the regeneration power if you will remove the one arm once again i will tell you if you will remove the one arm the new arm will be produced very early this re this power is called the regeneration so regeneration power is there and this is the starfish and scientific name i have to tell you now scientific name i have to tell you okay just hold on okay ji this is the scientific name the sea star starfish it eats the fresh water mussel fresh water mussel what is the fresh water mussel these are uh, the file uh, belong to phylum mollusca now you will ask what is the phylum mollusca that's why i don't elongate the discussion because all discussion all the uh, informations you have to study in the senior classes group of the animal with the shells okay ji group of the animals with the shells are called mussels these are small animals present in the fresh water and sea water so starfish is also aquatic animal mussel is also aquatic animal what will happen the starfish eat mussel starfish eat mussels technically you are thinking this is a nature is cruel you are thinking nature is cruel cruel because you are thinking oh my god mussel is a victim and and in this movie you will say starfish is a villain and mussel is a hero and you will say starfish is a villain and he is a hero reason you will say starfish is eating mussel and lot of uh, cruel uh, cruel nature of starfish killed a, a innocent freshwater mussel you listen the story until now when i will finish the story you will understand that freshwater mussel must be eaten by the starfish i tell you what happens the nature decide that starfish are not present if the starfish are uh, starfish not present what will happen when the starfish is not present what will happen the starfish which is a sea stars if they are removed mean they are not present because you was thinking why the starfish is making is killing the freshwater mussel you was you was you, you definitely you are humans and you were taking care of the living things as well and you was caring 
any dog is injured any animal is injured the human become become worried because we are uh, good nature of the human motivate us that we should uh, uh, we should prevent the animal so you are thinking about the fresh water muscle why the muscles are eaten by the sea star or the starfish now i am telling what the nature decide that is good this is a predator prey relationship if i will tell you that i am just opening uh, the another part of the movie what is the another part of the movie if the sea star if the sea star are removed what will happen what will happen if the sea star is removed what will happen if the sea star will be removed that starfish is not present in that sea water the mussels will not be eaten okay ji mussels will not be eaten mussels will not be eaten when mussels will not be eaten the mussels will not be eaten and what is the danger thing mussels rapidly increase in the numbers oh my god now you was favoring the mussels you was thinking that the mussels are not being killed the mussel should not be killed by the starfish okay your wish is accepted your wish is accepted supposed your wish is accepted and the fresh water mussel is not killing a uh, sea star starfish is not killing the mussel and mussel size increase what will happen they will kill small animals which are very important for us also oh my god it mean nature is deciding perfectly to save the small animals which are called the planktons the living planktons to so nature is pre protecting protecting